really tired and hopefully I'll cool off in a minute so I can actually film a proper haul video. I've been in town, I had a job interview, I think it went well so we'll see how that goes Us with the, I had the blouse further up earlier, I've opened it because it's so damn hot. Um, yeah, it's just so sweaty today. I went into Primark and they don't have any aircon in a four story Primark. So, as you can imagine, the top stories were boiling like so hot. <sighs> My hands are raw and calloused from the Primark bag. I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna cool down, and then I reckon I will do a haul video. Maybe. Hi guys! Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is that you're actually watching this. So, I've had a really busy day really quite tired, taking some time to rest, bringing myself back to the camera. So this morning I got ready, I went into town, I had a job interview this morning, I thought it went really well. Um, I've actually got a trial shift tomorrow so that'll be really nice to see how that goes. And then to celebrate, I went some shopping! So I think that's probably the biggest bag they do in Primark. So I will probably definitely be doing a Primark haul. I bought some other bits and pieces as well from Wilco. My bag is broken. Um, so I thought I'd show what I got interesting stuff I just thought I'd show it anyway so I bought new shampoo and conditioner this stuff's like my favorite at the moment this one is like a new scent which I hadn't found before and it's apparently for long hair which re repairs split ends and considering my hair is starting to get really sh long that would be nice to try out and this one is like my favorite thing ever it's called be strong and it's a really nice conditioner with a honey scent on it and Okay, so if anyone knows anything about blonde hair, like this used to just fall apart whenever I did that. And now look at it, it's so strong! I bought new toothpaste, I bought new toothbrushes, I bought this really nice candle from Wilco, which is a crisp melon and rhubarb candle. I actually bought this one before, and then I used the candle up. And now I use the little glass square. So that is definitely what's going to happen with this one. They're really nice. And they are only like £2 from Wilco. And they burn really well. And melon and rhubarb is just a proper summer scent. Like, you can't get much more summery than melon. I also bought some other basics like deodorant and paracetamol because I don't have any left and the last thing I bought was cover the price up just in case they watch the video this adorable little birthday card it says have, have a totally amazing birthday how cute is that and then I went into Superdrug and I saw this really cute cactus shaped soap like, it's all noduled. And there's a slight hole in the packaging, which I didn't notice, otherwise I wouldn't have got it. But it smells so citrusy. It's meant to be a lime-scented soap, but it's more like a citronella kind of scent. And it's just, oh, it's just gorgeous. And I caved. I also bought myself the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer from Collection. And I am very excited to try it. 
I got this in the cool medium too because I thought that would be light enough. Like the next one up seemed a little bit too dark, especially because I tend to put concealer here more than anywhere else. And I thought, don't want something too dark underneath my eyes. Everything else that's in the bag is a Primark jobby. So I'm probably going to do a bit of a Primark haul at some point. Who am I kidding? I'll record it straight after this. I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend yet. I might do something interesting. Obviously I've got my trial shift tomorrow. Sam's racing all weekend so I'll be keeping up to date online, see how he's doing. I need to do some revision for my exam on Monday. And my week next week has become a little bit less stressful now because even though I've got two exams still, um, I am no longer doing a barbecue on the last day of term because no one wanted to come along. Which is fine because it means that I've saved a load of money and I don't have to stress as much. Which is cool because I stress a lot. But look how healthy my hair is looking. My skin is actually looking like amazing at the moment. So obviously my stress levels are bang on. But it does mean that I cleared the garden for no reason. <sighs> Never mind. I've got some proper sore hands now after carrying that bag home. I ran to the bus stop to get the bus. The bus pulled away without me, didn't let me on, and then the sign actually said that the next bus was in 25 minutes, and it only takes me half an hour to walk home, so I thought, screw it, I'll walk home. But, Primark bag handles, so, 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 I've got some Palmer's cocoa butter hand cream that's moist and low up. So anyway. My weekend is not looking eventful now. Uh, there is actually a fun fair on at the weekend, so if I get a lot of revision done tomorrow, I might go do that. Um, maybe vlog it. Maybe. I don't really do fun fairs, don't really do rides, but we can give it a go. See what happens. There's no casualty this weekend. Because Eurovision's on. I'm not a fan of Eurovision. Apologies to anyone that is. Um, it's just something we've never really watched in my house growing up. I know I went to a party, um, oh god it must be like five years ago now, four or five years ago? Yeah, a Eurovision party and I went to Greece and it was the year that they had that really cool song called Alcohol is Free and I, I thought that was amazing. I'll insert a picture here of me dressed up in my Greek outfit. It was very stereotypical, like a lot of the outfits from the party were very, uh, I wouldn't say un-PC, they were just sort of very stereotypical, like the person who came as Ireland, dressed up as a leprechaun, <laughs> guy that dressed up as Great Britain though, he was like covered in pictures of the Queen and buses and tea and he wore these great big like glasses, it just had something to do with England on them and it was really cool. It was very, very patriotic. Not been invited this year to a Eurovision party unfortunately but maybe I'll stay up and watch it. If there's nothing else on TV, who knows. Sorry I'm just sitting here like rubbing in this hand cream. First time I've gone out in months without my coat and it chose to rain today. It wasn't like, it wasn't cold rain, it was just uncomfortably wet which is why I've Got a hat on because my hair's got a bit flat. Oh, well, you can probably hear the rain now, actually. In the meantime, I am gonna crack on, get sorting out this, uh, showing off this haul video. Try and make this haul video, is what I should say. 
Um, because I expect you'll want to try on haul as well, so I'll have to record that. Um, I'll just include some random footage to finish the vlog somewhere. In the meantime, have a lovely weekend. I hope you're all well. I need to stop clapping in my videos. One more for good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye!